Hey everyone, Bricknut here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Lego City Set 60204, and it's the Lego City Hospital with 861 pieces. Now, this is the biggest city set I have purchased for probably about three years now, three or four years. Um, as you know from my videos, most of them have just been the smaller city sets. Uh, but this is on offer in Argos in the UK um, at £20 off. So the retail price on the LEGO website is £69.99 here in the UK. Argos has it. I think I paid £49.99, so £50 near enough. Um, so I just thought, I'm going to get it. I'm going to jump on that opportunity to um, get it. So, the set comes with everything you can see. There's 11 minifigures. Unless you count the baby in the baby stroller, that would make it 12. I suppose the baby is a minifigure, really. Um, the helicopter and helipad. The helipad is actually separate. In this set. It's not on the building. The hospital itself... A brick separator, uh, a gurney for the ambulance, and there's a couple of accessories for some of these figures, and of course the ambulance itself. So, 11 figures, you get four um, hospital staff over the back. We've got two guys, this is our first guy. There's a bit of printing on the back, but that's our first guy. He's quite a young lad. Probably fresh out of college or university. And uh, the other one, he's got the exact same torso, but he's an older, more experienced gentleman. He's probably uh, been in the, this line of work for a number of years. Uh, and we have... this young lady with slightly different print on the back as well I've got to put my hand here otherwise the camera won't focus on them they've all got the same colour legs as well and she's got different ones she's a slightly older older lady as well and she's got a different torso print and then we've got our first patient which is well I'm gonna presume he's a decorator because I don't know if you can quite see that he's got paint splatters all over his overalls um, and there is a bit of uh, printing on the back there as well in fact there we go see oh caps just fell off that is just a that's meant to be a bandage for his wrist so I don't know he's hurt himself somehow there's the wheelchair that was featured in a, um, a minifigure set. I can't remember if that was last year or the year before. The same with the baby stroller here. That was featured in the same set. It's just a simple little stroller with a little baby in there that does remove. Can't move the arms on it though, but the head does remove. So you can pose the head at least. Uh... Then we've got one ambulance driver. There's, you know, only the one. And uh, that's her rear print as well. The, um, the care is part of the cap, which um, I actually like these. I like that Lego did that. Oh, I just knocked a minifigure over. Here's the helicopter pilot. I don't know, has he got the same printing as the other one on the back? Yes, the um, back print is the same, it's just the print on the front. Probably to signify he's, uh, you know, part of a different department, possibly. 
Okay, so it's just um, the rest of our patients. Except this guy's not a patient. He's um, a visitor. And looking at the artwork on the box and at what pick, um, what Lego's got up here on their website, these two figures go together as a couple. Um, so I'm guessing he's visiting her because there is a maternity ward on hospital in this bit. We'll have a look at that when we get to it. But anyway, here's our husband. Well, I suppose he could be a boyfriend if you want him to be the boyfriend, you know. Whatever your imagination desires. Now here's the bouquet and I've noticed Lego has changed the um, style of the flower heads. But I quite like the look of this style. Plus this is very similar to the um, three stalk flower plant that Lego has but they've changed this bottom bit so there's a peg there for the figure to hold so whoops butterfingers I just pop that there like so many figures can hold the bouquet I quite like that uh, he doesn't because he doesn't want to stand up now anyway <laughs> Here's our young mother with a nice sweater on with some nice back printing. Uh, the other patient we have is this guy, he works in the mines. He comes with two other accessories, there's the uh, mine symbol on his back. He comes with two accessories and that is the uh, common mining helmet. And a uh, head bandage. So you can take his hair piece off and uh, just quickly do that. Can't get it to. There we go. Oop, nope. It just popped straight off. There we go, I got it. See? He hurt his head in the mine. Perhaps he tripped over a rock. And the last guy is this one. Now he has two faces. This is the one without glasses. And uh, if I turn him around, there's the one with glasses. Which is actually relevant to a room in the hospital there, so... I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, I do like the torso. There's a lot of different... Um, also, this is a good set to buy just for a set of uh, minifigures. Or if you've got a mock hospital like I've got, you've got staff. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to move all of these figures out of the way. And um, I can't remember if I've mentioned, but you do get the um, brick separator and the gurney for the ambulance. Here's the little, uh, we call them push chairs here in the UK. Baby strollers in America, and I'm not sure what they're called elsewhere in other languages. The little baby does um, come out, it's just sat in there. And I do recall a set coming out, I think, two years ago. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but um, there's a a city people set and this push chair was featured in it along with a wheelchair which I actually like I like that Lego has finally addressed disabilities you know they're actually Lego are actually trying to include everyone um, you know if you look at the minifigures they've included you've got this young looking gentleman and then you have, if I can find him, you know, had that young gentleman, he looks like he's just come out of um, university. Then you've got an older gentleman that's probably got a lot of experience working in a hospital. You know, the same with the lady figures in this set. Which I think is good because I feel Lego is including everybody. And um, with the baby, it can be a boy or a girl, can, you know, wh whatever you want. I know it's blue, but girls wear blue, so 
Whatever you want. You can have a baby boy or a baby girl. Just move the wheelchair out of the way. Right, I'm going to do the helipad next because that's actually my butter fingers tonight. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Just a simple little separate helipad. It's on one of them, um, I think it's an octagon. I was never very good at shapes in, hosp in hospital, in high school. It's because I'm thinking about a hospital, so it came out as hospital. <laughs> I think I need to go one to get this fixed. <laughs> Especially tonight, anyway. Moving on, we've got the helicopter. Now, it's obviously not one you can carry patients in. Uh, there's a handful of stickers, actually four stickers, because there's the paramedic there on either side, and just a sticker either side of the tail. It's got this box on the side here as well, which has got a little container in it. And it's just one of those one by one round bricks with a round tile on the top. I suppose you could pretend that's carrying an organ or something, you know, for an organ transplant or a sample, maybe, blood sample, urine sample, whatever sample you can think of. There's a nice little helicopter. I actually like it. Then again, I do like helicopters. Um, in the world of Lego, that is, I do like Lego helicopters. I don't know why, I always have. But uh, this thing, this box, can actually be moved to the other side. There's two little claw bricks there as well, so you can put it on whatever side you want. The um, canopy does lift up, just like that. It's got a little walkie-talkie here. Yeah, rear rotor spins, top rotor spins. Maybe two little um, levers there for flying it. A couple of blue lights there. Some blue lights under here as well. I don't know if you can see that just uh, just above the um, claw plates there. It's a nice little helicopter. I like the use of these parts here, the um, modified one by two plates with these little bars on either side. Because it reminds me of like an exhaust, you know, the engine exhaust. I think it's just um, just a nice little bit of attention to detail there. Anyway, let's move the helicopter out of the way and we'll move on to the ambulance. I'm not sure what I think of this. I'm not sure this campy bit over the roof, but I think it's a nice enough looking ambulance. There's that side, there's the front. It's definitely a different design. I do like that Lego seem to have changed their wheel design. I like this. It reminds me more of a an actual vehicle wheel, you know, an alloy wheel or something. And I do believe these are reversible. Yes, they are reversible. It's got the traditional sort of um, side mirror there that Lego like to do on these. Blue lights in the front. I'm not sure about that grey brick there. That could have been a grill. I suppose you could put a grill on it if you really wanted to. Or another, you know, a 1x2 tile. You can hear Nemo in the background. <laughs> number plate, ER, with the set number, as they always do on the vehicles. A couple of levers up here being used as antennas. You've got the blue lights. The, um... I don't know what you would call those windows. Non-see-through windows. And the rear door. This is actually a lot narrower, I think, than the previous ambulance. There's not actually a lot in there. It is pretty basic. And I've just realised, I don't know how well the gurney's going to slide into the back of this. Should we find out? Oh! I didn't think it was going to go in there that well because of all the studs, but it actually does. That's good. I still find it odd that they only have the one ambulance operative. Driver, paramedic, whatever we want to call her. But, uh, yeah, the canopy does come off quite easily, so you can get your figure in there. There's a little window through to the back, so the driver can keep an eye on their patient. So, I'm not sure I like these grill bits on the side either, but 
I don't know, they might grow on me over time. It's um, simpler than the separate ambulance. They did the separate set and shorter. I was actually just looking for one for comparison, but it's not close enough at hand, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have got it for comparison. Yeah, it's got uh, some amber lights up there, tail lights, blue lights at the back there as well. I do apologise if the camera shook, it's Nemo, he's uh, rubbing up against a tripod leg. Anyway, that's our ambulance. So, I don't know where to put it out of the way. Here's our hospital. I might just zoom you in a little bit further for this. So it's um, three stories, ground floor, first floor, second floor, and I know in America that they do call that the first floor. Over here in Britain, that's classed as the ground floor, and then first floor, second floor. Anyway, a couple of stickers here, hospital, medical sign. Not sure what all that is. Oh, I want see it's directions to different departments. Um, I think the easiest way is to start from the top and go down because this is modular. You can take all this apart. Um, I'll just show you around here as well. There's a lot of these blue panel windows which I love because I do love using those in my box. So if I ever did dismantle this, I've got plenty of those. This seems like the ambulance entrance. I'll zoom you out a little bit. There we go. You see, got emergency only. Got a little trolley in here, which I'll show you when I, we take a look at the inside of the ground floor properly. A couple of uh, lamps up there. The ambulance sign. Little blue light up there. Yeah, I actually do like the design, and I'm actually tempted when I've done this review and what have you to actually build this bit out as well, so it's all symmetrical and like a proper enclosed building because I think that would actually look quite nice so there's that side around this, this side you see you get in everywhere here and there as well although that's not very good for big hands like mine but like I said it's modular anyway so I'm going to start from the top so this is the maternity room the roof does detach as well. It's not really anything to get hold of though. So there we go. We've got like, uh, I don't know, like a, one of those mobile incubators, I suppose. It's got the thing on the front, which would have the um, patient's name on it, I suppose. Got the baby's bottle on the back there. I think Nemo wants attention because he's now right behind me. There's the um, delivery bed. I don't know if you can quite see in there, but there's a screen on the bed as well. This bit I like. This is a completely adjustable to light. You know, like, um, I don't know if you've seen it in operating rooms and whatnot. I'll just take that bit off, you see. It's a fully adjustable light that goes over the bed. I thought that was quite a nice feature. If I can get that back on. Just a ball and socket joint, that's all that is. But, uh, yeah, it's a simple room, I suppose. That's your... For the adults out there, that would probably be the gas and air. They'll know what that is. <clears throat> it's what they give um, lady patients when they're giving birth to try and ease the pain. So that's the first section. I do like this bit, the sloped bits here. I think that just adds a nice feature to the building. So there's section one. Now this floor that comes apart in two sections. So we've got this one here, which is X-ray. This has got an interesting feature. There's a lot of stuff in there. Look, look at that. Got a skeleton up there. Got a microscope there, which I actually really like. There was like um, some transparent pieces in the drawers, nothing interesting. These, however, and this are what is interesting on this. Look at these, you see, you got little like x ray panels. You get three of them, they've all got a different part of the body on there. 
the rib cage, all these organs. <laughs> what you do with this, you slide these into here. I'm going to bring this closer so you can see. Right. And on the back here, there's a button because this is a light brick. So when I do that, can you see that? Projects it onto that panel. It's like a proper projector. <laughs> I think that is actually really cool. That I like that. When I first looked at the box, I didn't know that was there until I opened the bag to build this section. Because you get, uh, let me think, it was nine bags in total for this set. And four, five instruction man. Yeah, five instruction manuals. So, I do like that about this area now it's the x-ray area and I can check all the x-rays although there isn't actually an x-ray room <laughs> right so I'll clear my actual bench one day which is over there and we'll uh, I'll have more room to do this anyway here's this little section it's the eye section for eye test that's why that guy with the glass with the two faces one with glasses one without is um quite relevant and look at this look at it that for the eye test machine isn't that brilliant that's just like the light on the uh, maternity ward it's on a ball and socket joint so you can move it literally in any direction you want there's a little computer screen there probably tells the doctor your results there's a couple of boards there's one with symbols on and the usual you know the little one you have to read out letters on different lines and they get smaller and smaller as you go down them. So. So. That leaves us with the ground floor. Now, there isn't really a lot on the ground floor, to be honest. There is this little trolley. Which has got a pair of scissors on it. Um, there is, in the drawers, that little white tile there I'm not sure what there's I think there's a syringe in one of these yeah gray syringe there's a green one on the top there another canister and a that could be one of them um, thingy masks you know the hand pump masks for oxygen that could be what that bottle is meant to be or it could be an actual bottle of oxygen I don't know there is as well a little um, checking in computer down here I suppose that's what it is. They check their patients in on there. It does look like there's like three pictures of people on there. So I'm guessing that's what that is. See me dropping that so I'm going to move that. And then there's like a little snack stand over here. Which is what this is. I'm trying to get I'm going to have to take that out, aren't I? Take it out. That's the easiest option. There we go. You get a newspaper and a magazine as well. There's a can of cola there or... Be a can of lemonade or a can of whatever you want. Little cash register thing on there as well. Some ice creams. Just general snack for anyone who's waiting. There is one feature with this as well down here. Yeah, it's got a sliding door. Do like that. Nice feature. It's a little waiting seat here with another can of drink. That's basically it for the ground floor um, I would say I would pay full price for it like I said I only jumped on this because it was on offer and I am a strong believer in you should take a you know jump at the opportunity when you see it so I'm going to put this together Oops, what did I just knock off? Oh, just the computer. Never mind. Put that back on. This one back up here. Yeah, I do think, you know, if you got another plate to put down here and built all this section up so it was a complete building, you know, bricked up this so it looked like a building, that would actually sit nicely in a Lego city. I am tempted to put this in, at least temporarily, uh, till my hospital is built. The bigger one. <laughs> um, I 
So um, this has given me some inspiration as well for that. Because I, I actually had like, um, I call it builder's block where I just can't think of what to do with a mock I'm working on. I get stuck. And I got stuck on what to do for a couple of the rooms on the top floor. Um, but I think this may have uh, decided that for me. What's that little trolley? I, I can really see me losing this because this rolls all over the place, this trolley. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to stick that back in there. What I am going to do while I finish up this review is I'm going to put my figures where they're supposed to be. Each one of these doctors um, was in a bag because each of these rooms were all in a separate bag so but I can't remember which one went with which floor. I'll have to consult the mandals. <laughs> so I've got the young man actually where's the ambulance driver? I'm going to put her in her ambulance there we go, see, quite easy, that goes on there, so, yeah, the more I look at that ambulance, the more it's growing on me, I think that's, starting to think that's quite a uh, nice little design, that, right, so, I've got to remember, right, so, our two ladies, they, whoops, they go on the ground floor, but I'm not actually sure where. <laughs> I suppose I can put them wherever I like, but according to this manual, they go on the floor. On the ground floor, so... I'm going to say she might go behind the counter here. Because she has all the, you know, the stethoscope and whatnot. No, actually, there's no stethoscope. But there is an ID tag and whatnot on her, so I'm going to put her in the emergency area. Whoops. Right. We move on to the next section in this one, or was that the next booklet? That was the next booklet. Yeah, overall I think it's actually um, quite a nice hospital. I've not had any of the previous ones LEGO has made, so I can't compare this to previous sets, but would I recommend buying it? Yes, I would. I think it's worth it. Well, it's actually worth it just for all the different parts you get. And like I said, if you actually uh, build up all this part to make it look like just one you know a complete building you'd have quite a nice little building to sit in your lego city so yeah i would recommend it um you get a nice number of figures assorted figures at that you can't see how, look, look this is what i've got to put up with off camera <laughs> he's now sitting on my books <laughs> You are annoying, Nemo, at times. <laughs> okay, so we'll put patient number one. I can find him. It's not what I was actually looking for, but... <laughs> or I could just throw the patient everywhere. Right. Sorry, Nemo, but I need my last book. You were sitting on it. I think it's just... Actually, now I've got to consult a bit more on this, I think. <laughs> bit of cat entertainment. Right. Don't think there's actually anything I've done. I think I could have put a bit more detail on the roof because there's just this sort of vent and an antenna. So I'd have probably gone for an air conditioning unit if it was me. I will find it. Uh, 
Okay, so our young doctor is the x-ray department. So I'll stand him there, which means our other doctor, there's only one place for him to go. And put him up there. There we go. I'll sort the other figures out later. I've got some of them in place. So that's quite a nice place set, I think. You know, I think kids could have a lot of fun with it as it is. The stickers, there's a number of them, but they're all pretty easy to stick on because they're pretty big stickers. I think the smallest ones would be a, like your number plate on the ambulance right there. And the hospital medical sign thing up the top here. But uh, yeah, I actually really like it. I like the design of the building as well. Obviously with all Lego sets, they leave the backs open for playability. And that's why that's modular as well. There is more detail than I actually expected. And I, like I said, my favourite part is the um, x-ray bit. I think that is just cool how that projects the image from these onto this wall. A bit of dirt on this because this desk could do with a clean. So, yeah. I'm not sure I'd pay the full £70 for it though. Maybe a bit less than that, maybe closer to £60, I think. But, you saying that you do get a lot with it, you do get a lot of. Uh, you get a lot of good parts, actually, to be honest, you know, like all these uh, windows. All that time I wanted a bunch of those for my hospital, my mock hospital, and I would have had enough to do it if I bought this, <laughs> if that was out at the time. <clears throat> I don't know why, I just like these big panel windows. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well, look, they've got the um, slope on the bottom floor here. Oops, sorry Neil. Pick it up without everything going everywhere. It's like um, wheelchair access. So, I can't actually find the wheelchair. I think Nemo is sitting on it. Yeah, you know, you're gonna... Yeah, that, roll in, that rolls up there quite nicely. The front wheels get stuck sometimes. I'll tell you. It's uh, working quite nicely. I do like sliding doors. I think that's a nice feature. Anywho, let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, is this a set you've got? If you've got this set, then feel free to let me know what you thought of it. And uh, have I persuaded you to go and buy it? Because. <laughs> uh, I do like it. It's going to be one of my favourite sets and like I said, I'm going to modify it because I do like modifying sets. I'm going to build all this in and um, go put it in my city somewhere as a temporary little hospital. I might add some other bits to it as well. But apart from that, actually this dirt is coming off my desk. So, um, oh, I know what it is, it's just the paint is flaking for some reason. Anyway, I digress. There's not a lot else I can say about it, so, as I said, comments down below. I do enjoy reading the comments I get. I always reply where I can. And, uh, I think I'd give this, if I did a, you know, an out of ten rating, I'd probably give it an 8. Simply because I think there's a few bits that they could have done a bit better and added to. Like the roof. It just seems a bit bare to me. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye bye.